slips, it's uh, blood just like heartbeats. Uh, how's the team feeling? I guess confident after you know, two weeks of training? Yeah, we've actually trained really well. Um, the last week or 10 days have been pretty tough. So, uh, yeah, we're, we're, we know what's in front of us. We know what we have to do. Um, we're going to have to put in one hell of a shift to, to get a result. So, boys are prepared well. We're looking forward to it. So, so it didn't seem like there was too many words out there just before alongside Artie. Well, it's because we were trying to smile for the cameras, mate. <laughs> no, um, no, no, there's a lot of respect there. Uh, we've played a lot of rugby against each other. No, it's, we're excited for the game, mate. Melbourne this time last year, I was a bit in that one. Do you remember that? Yeah, it's I remember it. Oh, it hurts. Like, it, you know, whenever you don't get the result, it's always going to hurt you. Um, and I guess in the fashion that we, we kind of blew that game, makes it hurt a little bit more. So, you know, for us, Hopefully, uh, you know, we can play a game which, um, you know, it's on our terms. We don't have a referee come in and, um, I guess, decide it right at the end there. So, you know, it was a great game to be a part of. We absolutely love playing in Melbourne. Um, the crowd was unbelievable last year and we're expecting the same tomorrow. Do you use it as motivation for that game? Uh, I'm not sure it's, it's motivation. I think, you know, if you look at our last two recent games, that, that's pretty motivating. Um, you know, we've come off two pretty disappointing results, both in Africa and, and in Sydney. So, you know, we're probably looking back to those games and trying to get better. We understand that we've got a new coach now. There's a new playing group, um, slightly different to the team that played last year here in Melbourne. So, um, yeah, it's, it's hard to not, not uh, shy away from the fact that, you know, last, last year was tough. But, um, yeah, we're a new group now. Uh, in that aspect, yeah. Yeah, we did. Um, I think it's just about a bit of game smarts, really, back then. Um, but as I said, mate, it's a new year. Um, ideally, we're, you know, we're um, in f full control of what we're doing as players. James, what have you seen on the training field in the past week that makes you feel you can turn this around? Uh, there's been a lot of hard work, a lot of honesty. Um, you know, I guess a lot of... Uh, bad habits that we've formed over the last you know 10 20 years that you know we haven't been able to win the blitters though so you know for us we're trying to change that um in the way we the way we train um understanding what we're what we're doing wrong and then you know training it out of us so it's a bit of a work in progress at the moment but you know we're 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 confident we're on the right track for sure different role for you this week slips yeah finisher what was the chat with eddie about when he told you about that Uh, just a little bit of experience, I guess, to, to close out a game. Um, you know, where Eddie's mentioned at the start of the year that you know he's probably going to use five captains throughout the year, and um, that's probably something that's not going to change. You know, with HIA and injuries and that sort of stuff coming into the game in the past or recent history, so um, not much is going to change for me. My my job around the around the team throughout the week hasn't changed. Uh, it's just about now supporting the guys that start, Alan, um, Tate those boys who were going to lead the boys out initially in the game and then you know you got the likes of myself, Whitey, Quades on the bench as well so there's a bit of age, a bit of experience there as well so yeah not, nothing really changes it's just where I, where I play. Have you guys done anything to, I mean you can't get on the MCG obviously with the game tonight but have you done anything to acclimatise to try and understand what that environment would be like? As in the stadium? Well just the crowd, like the size of the crowd. Uh, uh, not so much. We've been we've been to the stadium throughout the throughout the week, um, and for a lot of us, that was the first time we've walked in into the G. So it was, um, you know, being a fanatical sports fan, I, I absolutely loved it. It's uh, it's huge. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a great atmosphere. Like if I think back to Marvel last year, it was unbelievable. So um, to to move over to the MCG and have a crack there would be um, unbelievable. James, do you have any concerns, Jake? What does it mean? Oh, it's like it's one of the world's greatest stadiums. So, you know, for us, we're lucky to call it home. Um, you know, we've seen some sporting events there held in the past. You know, and I guess you always look at those big moments in sport, and most of them are at the MCG. Uh, for us, we're, we're we're extremely humbled. We understand how much the Mel Mel Melbourne public love their sport, and we want to make sure we put in a performance that they're proud of, but also ourselves. But uh, yeah, we can't wait to get out of there. We, you know, 
the stadium itself is unbelievable. Slopes has a slow history of the last 20 years. Why you down? Does it motivate you to turn it all around? Oh, I'll probably get asked that question every year. Um, yeah, my first game was actually here in Melbourne against the All Blacks, and um, I got asked that question then. So it's uh, it's one of those things that we're just going to have to understand. That's part of our history. It's been 20 years now, and um, you know, as I said a little bit earlier, it's a new group, new coach. Um, we want to, we, you know, we got high endeavours to to push forward and, and win the cup. So you know, it's a two horse race. The odds don't really stack up when you've lost 20 in a row. Uh, so, yeah, and that's on us as players, and, and that's something we're trying to rectify. Slips, as you mentioned, you want to win the Cup, but you've got two tough losses, and the All Blacks are coming off two big wins. Why yeah. should Australian rugby fans believe that this is the year that what this list coming up? Mate, you're dead right. Um, yeah, and it, it goes back to what I'm saying. We're trying to build something. We're, we've changed what we're doing in terms of s staff, coaches, there's new players in the squad. Um, you know, just like you look at look at tomorrow, we've got a, a, a new 5'8", he's going to lead us around, he's young, he's from Melbourne. Um, so there's a, there's a different landscape to us. Um, but in saying that, oh, I'm not going to stand here and say we're the finished product, but one thing I'm, I'm going to say is we're going to work very hard to be. Do you get any confidence, that, like last year you've written off as well, and then you come out and push the, all, all that 80 odd minutes, uh, does that give you any confidence knowing that you can turn it around? Oh yeah, you, you take confidence from your recent games. Um, yeah, and, and it goes back like last year was a different group. So yeah, you can look into that as much as you want. But um, for us, we we got we got humbled in South Africa, and you know we were disappointed in Sydney. So for us, we're we're looking at that, those two recent games under under Eddie and the playing group that we've got, and we know we've got to be better. Um, yeah, you know, we let ourselves down, and as I said. Yeah, we're trying to change some, some habits that have been formed over the last decade or two. James, um, in terms of those habits, discipline seems to be a key one. There's been a stack of yellow cards. I mean, has it been a key theme during preparations for this game? Yeah, yeah. discipline is something I, f I feel like I talk about a lot. Um, yeah, I guess in our, in our sport, the referee has a pretty hard job to, to, to referee the game. And for us, we always seem to be on the wrong side of that. And that's on us as players. Uh, we've spoken about it, um, but it's reoccurring, and that's probably the issue. But um, yeah, we've we've addressed it. We've trained it. Um, we need to see that transfer into the game. You prepared for the All Blacks to give you a bit of niggle to maybe suck you into a few cards? No, I'm not expecting that. They're, they're a team that yeah they want to win just as much as we do. So uh, yeah, I'm sure it's going to be physical. Uh, there'll be parts of the game that get that get heated, but that's only natural. But I, I can't see them trying to niggle us into anything. Eddie has, Eddie has won the cup um, and he seems sort of quite bold, quite fearless about the task. You know, does that kind of rub off on you guys at all? He's, yeah, no, he's de he's, yeah, Eddie's definitely a, a coach who says he's mine. Um, he's, uh, he's a lot different to what we're used to and, and to be fair, we've really enjoyed that um, sort of approach. So does it rub off on us players? I, I think so a little bit. Um, but I think that's probably more of an in individual playing uh, question. James, can you expand a little bit more about how important it is for Melbourne to be part of that rugby footprint in Australia and for this NCB being part of that as well? How important Melbourne is? Yeah. Oh, well, it's, a, it's, a big, it's a big part of sport in Australia. Um, not just rugby, but I think in general, you know, every sport wants to play in Melbourne. Um, and rugby union is no different. We absolutely love it here. Every time we play here, we play in some of the you know, the most passionate fans going around, and um, now it's got a big footprint in our country for sport. Um, and we want to be we want to be a team that's represented on the field in Melbourne. And what does it mean to get out into the MCG? What are you expecting tomorrow? Uh, well, as I said earlier, it's uh, it's a dream come true for a lot of us. Like a lot of us haven't even been inside the stadium. So the other day we walked in there and. Um, yeah, it's incredible. Like I'm a Queensland, so I grew up, you know, at Suncourt Stadium, so it's a little bit bigger than that. But uh, it's, I think, the biggest thing about the G is just the history behind it, and that's something that we all understand, and that's probably why we're so excited. Do you try and get some footy tonight? I'd love to. Um, maybe a few boys are. Thanks, guys. Just.